So basically after this, we're skipping the rest of the first half of season one. Fine by me. Let's move on to Doomsday Duel. Chancellor Shepard, the chief administrator of Duel Academy, called Jaden, Bastion, Alexis, Chaz, Crowler, Banner, and Zane to his office. He wanted to warn them about the Shadow Riders and the powers of the three Sacred Beast cards. Three Sacred what cards? Sacred Beast cards. Due to their immense power and their colossal might, they were hidden here at the Academy. You see, the Academy was built in part to protect the Sacred Beast cards. They were buried deep underground, their powers sealed safely away. Legend says if these cards ever see the light of day, terrible things will happen. Our world will be no more. No more? So this is why the seven of you are here, to protect these three cards from the Wicked Ones. The Wicked Ones? That's right, seven duelists known as the Shadow Riders who covet these cards. I have heard of these Shadow Riders. They are no joke. You must be careful. Okay, so how do we protect these cards? By protecting the seven spirit gates. To get to the cards, one must unlock these gates. And to unlock them, one must gain the seven keys for the seven gates. That is how we will protect the, those cards, by protecting the keys. And here they are, one for each of you to guard. Children, this is an important responsibility, for me as well. We hold the keys? Won't that make us targets? It's true, with these keys, the Shadow Riders will seek you out. Oh, seek us out? You mean take us out? Only in a duel. Fortunately for our side, the keys can simply be stolen. An ancient edict commands the keys must be won in a duel. And so I've called on our school's seven best to take up this challenge and fight the good fight. Later that evening, Jaden and Alexis were transported to a volcano where they encountered the first Shadow Rider. Where are we? In one very weird dream. Or nightmare. <laughs> it's neither. What's going on? You mean you don't know? Call me a slow learner. Call me Night Shroud. I'll be the one taking that key you have around your neck. Wow, you guys don't waste much time, do you? I'll get that key and I'll get it now. Oh, and just to make sure that I brought friends. What's that mean? Say hello to Cyrus and Chumley. Looks like they're in hot water. Or maybe I should say hot molten lava. But then such is the nature of a shadow game, Key Keeper. A shadow game? Listen, just duel me, but let them go. I don't think so. I need them to ensure a speedy match. After all, their, that protection orb they're in? Let's just say that it's not exactly built to last. Oh, and I'm afraid that there's more. Also at stake is your soul, which will be sealed in this card when you lose. Of course, if I lose, then my soul will be sealed. But hey, let's be honest with ourselves. Me lose? No way. Now then, shall we? You can't agree to this. Tell that to Cyrus and Chumley. They're about to become meatballs in a lava stew. They're my friends, and I'm not going to let that happen to them or us. Besides, it's not like this is my first shadow game. I'm hoping it doesn't hurt as bad as the others. Okay, pal, you want a duel? You got it. Let's throw down. Get your game on! So they pretty much skipped the first half of the season, of season one, to continue to what's really important. This. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same with the others. Oh, now this gets interesting. Mirage and Nightmare. Now is where is emergency provisions when I need it. That card, Mirage and Nightmare, is also banned for a reason. Discard Skyscraper. No! Knew that car was nothing but bad news. No, it's because without Skyscraper, I'm sunk. And plus, that Mirage Dragon is stronger. 
He summons a hunter dragon. One down. Lost both. Wait a minute. If I have Blade Edge on the field. Nuts, I lost both my spark. Wait, I have an extra spark. That's better. Drew four, that means I'm gonna have to give up my entire amount of cards. Why do I have a feeling that I pulled them into a trap? is nothing but trouble. <laughs> Nazi has another troop dragon. Yep, because of that mirage of nightmare, I don't have anything to counter it. And now I'm forced to discard two cards. What am I going to do? Yeah, because problem is, what's the point? 
He just bides his time. That means he discards one. I really don't have a choice. I really don't have a choice in the matter. Yeah, he doesn't even have a red eyes. That's why I need to have a high hand. He filled up his entire field. No choice. Time to bring out the big guns. Wild Edge. Now we're talking. No, don't attack. You didn't really think that through, did you? And that means say goodbye to most of my hand. Make that most of my deck. Yep, discard three cards. Three more cards. Oh, well, so much for that plan. Still, I can't believe I made such a BS move. A really bad one at that. No, it's because I didn't have emergency provisions. Without that, that my whole plan sunk. No wonder, I'm gonna lose out this duel within the first few minutes. Or not. Yeah, I got really lucky. Though if it were any other guess, it would have ended as bad as it did. That's game. Sai, Chumley. Jaden collapsed to the ground as everyone else was transported outside of the volcano. We're alive. What the? He did it. Jaden did it! Yeah! But where's Jaden? Look over there! Jaden! Wake up! He's not moving! Come on, Jay! Sigh, he's fine. Tired, maybe, but who could blame him? Not me. I'm tired and I didn't do a thing. He's okay. What is more than I can say for Night Shroud? Alexis noticed another body laying in the distance. Alexis? It can't be! 
It's him! I thought I lost him, but he's back. He's finally back. My brother is back. That card took away whatever darkness was holding him. I was very lucky to have won that. Very lucky. But luck doesn't mean a thing. Now, Field of Screams. The second Shadow Rider, Camula, defeated Crowler and Zane, taking both their spirit keys and trapping their souls in the dolls. It was up to Jaden to put an end to her madness. All right, Camula, I'm here for my friend's souls, and I'm not leaving till I get them. Truth be told, dear, you're not leaving here ever again. Not a single one of you are. Camula, get your game on. And I mean on high, because when someone duels my pals and turns their souls into some dolls, it puts me in a bad mood. And let me tell you something. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe this will change your mind. This is going to be rough. Yeah, because I'm up against someone who's going to just use Infernalvania and Vampire Monsters. Me, personally, it doesn't matter what I use. No way. Stratos. Yeah, I always remember Elemental Hero Stratos. That card was... I remember it was a banned card at one point. Choice number two. Give me Avion. Use them to form Flame Wingman. I'll hold on to the Spark Man for next turn so I can then form Shining Flame Wingman. Now with two monsters, I'm on the offensive. That's all you got? One monster face down and one set face down? And now we get the Mirror Force variants. Drowning Mirror Force. Stratos attack directly. And he does not, and she does not have anything. Good. I hate dealing with that. And look, the second Mirror Force, the regular. There's like six different variants. You have Drowning, Dark, Quaking, Burning. That's a lot. Okay, fine. What's the risk? Fuse Flame Wingman and Sparkman together. That's the only way you can fuse into more monsters. Fuse one monster from the extra zone and the main monster zone. And you still take more battle damage. Monster Reborn, and you're resurrecting one of your own monsters. That's not wise considering what I'm about to do next. Yo, excuse me. 
I like my monster back, thank you. You're getting your butt kicked by effect damage. Come on. Hmm, what does he have up his sleeves? Now to add the dark factory of mass production. I'll take the I'll take both of these back. Thank you. Add them to my hand. I'll hold on to them. In case Shining Flare Wingman takes the fall. And now, game set and match. I win. What? Replay attack anyway. Because not only will you go down anyway, you're done. Plus, bonus effect damage. See ya. What a trap. Jaden defeated Camula, freeing Zane and Dr. Crowler's souls from the, her dolls. That's game. At last, the nightmare is finally over. This one at least. Camula was just the second of the Shadow Riders, and that means more are on the way. You're right. More are on their way. And now we reach Dual Distractions. With two spirit gates already open. The Shadow Rider Tanya defeated Bastion and gained possession of his spirit key. After losing his duel to Tanya, Bastion became infatuated with her and wanted a rematch to prove that he was worthy of her. Tanya, can't you take a hint? I already dumped you, don't you remember? He wants a rematch. He can't have one, but you seem quite brave. I do, but I'm here for my friend. He already lost. I duel you or there's no duel. I never back down from a challenge. I'll do it for Bastion. You know the rules. If you lose this duel, you lose your spirit key and single status, meaning you move here to this battle arena with me and become my husband forevermore. I sure hope that Jaden knows what he's doing. I sure do. And when I'm done, Bastion will know that you don't have to be in love with love to duel with passion. What do you say we start this, huh? Tanya, here we go. Yes, I gotta be fighting her who relies on Amazonist monsters. Which means if I gotta beat her down, I gotta strike hard and fast. Then right away, he doesn't waste any time. I summon Stratos. What to choose? Wild Heart or De Wild Heart or Sparkman? Sparkman. Let's check my extra deck. Wild Edge, Thunder Giant, Tempest. The works. Okay, let's go. Let's see what she's got. Amazon is Paladin. It's time to fuse it up. Three fusion monsters. And Tempest was one of my favorite elemental hero monsters. Hands down. I really do love his design. Sorry, but now I gotta knock you out. Amazon is willpower. That was a mistake. Good. I have everything set for a plan B. Give me back Stratos. 
And yeah, Stratos was a really useful elemental hero card, but there are not much better cards now. And with this, give me my other hero, Wild Heart. So should anything happen, I am set for battle. Then I can summon Wild Edge and wipe the floor with him. Wait, what are you doing? Yo! No, 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 you know what? You're done. I don't care, you're done. Yeah, but here's the thing. With this new Master Rule set, I can't fusion summon more than once. Meaning that I have to really be strategic. And you summon an Amazonas village. And you don't have anything. Fine, I'll just have to go on the offensive. Because it's the only way I'm gonna win it. You resummon it? Come on, really? Yeah, that's game. I'm sorry. And yes, Wild Heart's immune to trap, so booyah! I guess that's game. Let me know if you ever want a rematch. No rematch. I joined the Shadow Riders to find a duelist who would be worthy to be my husband. But I've discovered I am not worthy to be with someone as strong as you. Farewell, Bastion. Well then, I guess that this is it. Boy, Bastion, you sure know how to pick him. Don't worry, buddy, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, that one was, that fight was a joke. I got some good Amazonas cards. Okay, so far we've did this, 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 and now we move on to this. A reason to win. Alexis tended to her brother in the infirmary. A mysterious voice suddenly filled her head saying that she could save her brother under one condition, that she beat him in a duel. It was the voice of Titan. Thought to be lost to the Shadow Realm, he had returned as one of the Shadow Riders. All right, so we duel, and if I win, you restore my brother's memories. That's the deal. Your end of it, at least. But if I win, I get something too. Your spirit key and your soul to take back with me to the Shadow Realm. When you and I first met up, I was but a charlatan of the shadows. However, since being taken in by them, I am now the real deal, an authentic Shadow Rider. Let us begin. All right, let's see what Titans got this time. If it's the same, I know it won't end well. May as well take advantage of using Messenger of Peace. Monsters with more than 1,500 attack points more can't attack. That means I can now attack without fear. All right, pal, what have you got up your sleeves? An Infernal Queen Archfeed. Yeah. Yeah, Cyber... Cyber Skater. Fine. Use Cyber Gymnast. And activate its effect. A three! Oops! That didn't work out well. Now I'll start attacking you. Wait, what? Death counter blow? Destroy any monster that inflicts battle damage. Players life points by attacking directly. Well, well, well. You had to resort to bringing that. Death counter blow. All right. All right then. You want me to run rough? I can do that. Because that's your plan, isn't it? Yeah, keep it up. 
Now he brings out pandemonium. I know what his plan is. No. What am I to do? Because of Death's counter blow, I really cannot do much. I gotta get rid of that Death's counter blow so I can then attack directly while I see fit. No, because that's the whole point. That's what he wants. But I can be able to attack you a little at a time. That's the plan. That's a risk I'm willing to take. I just need to make sure to build up enough damage. Release this to summon this. That ends my turn. I need a third monster for my plan to work. Because he lost his field spell. And he gets another one back. Oh, goody. This game really is something else. That ends it. I just need another monster and then I can pull off the finishing blow. Because I wasn't gonna risk it. Come on. Not what I wanted, but I'll just have to keep attacking. Terror King Archfiend. That's all you can do, I'm disappointed. Yeah, because combined it will give me about 5,700 life points worth of damage. He sets a third one. There you go. I'll be taking that down. Now you're done. Sorry, Titan. Oh. Don't attack. It says here, target arch one needs to also summon it and it cannot be distributed. Destroy it at the end phase of the turn. What was the point? Was it delaying the inevitable or you realize that you're screwed? Setting more face down. He's just biding his time. All right, what have you got? I don't care. I win anyway. So what does it matter? You helped me out well. This is game. Ha! No! Not again! Atticus! Lexi! Addy! Welcome back! Thanks, Lex. For everything. Wait, there are so many unanswered questions. Like how you ever end up in the Shadow Realm? 
Titan said you did it for the power. Believe me, Lexi, I never chose to go. One day a few of us were told to meet at the abandoned dorm, and then it happened. There was supposed to be a dual test in the basement, but instead we found hundreds of those little shadow fiends. I couldn't escape. I was brought to the shadow realm. They brainwashed me for months until I became this thing called Night Shroud. By who? Who was it that brainwashed you? I never did figure that out. However, the person who called me to take the dual test was Professor Banner. Our Professor Banner? So he's in on it? Wow, that's not good. Now for Amniel's Endgame. The final Shadow Rider, Amniel, appeared and took Chaz, Alexis, and Professor Banner's spirit keys. Amniel was now after Jane and Yuki in the final key. While searching for Amniel, Jane and his friends were led to the abandoned dorm. Exploring the door, they discovered a mysterious cave with a large coffin in the quarter. Pushing aside the cover revealed the mummified remains of Professor Banner. But to their greater surprise, Amnel emerged from the shadows and removed his mask to reveal that he was also Professor Banner in disguise. Two Professor Banners? Talk about deja vu. If you're you, then who's that mummy? Do not call me Banner. I am Amnel, your greatest foe. To get any of your friends back, you'll have to beat me. And if you cannot defeat me, you'll be joining them. All of you. Come on, Professor, snap out of it. It's best you forget that one you knew as Banner. He is no more. What do you mean, no more? To understand everything, you must do just one thing, and that is to duel and defeat me, Jaden. Only then will the truth be revealed. Only then will the secrets be unlocked. Will you accept this challenge? Will you face me? Of course I'll face you. Let's throw down. Man, what a twist. They skipped out most of the stuff to beat me up for the end of season one. I'm looking forward to how this will play out. Okay, let's see what I got in the extra deck first off. He has every E-Hero, including Mariner. That's new. And Electra, but I need four elemental heroes. Avian, Burstinatrix, Clayman, and... Yeah, Bubble Man. Earth, Fire, Wind, Water. And like him, he also sets two face downs. Not pleasant. Well, right away, I don't waste time. All right, time to fuse it up. I wonder why him, though. Macrocosmos. Get rid of that. Grand Converges. Any card sent to the graveyard are banished instead. No, wait. Gotta get rid of Macrocosmos. So much for Thunder Giant. Amniel means business. Alright, let's see what you got. No, I'm not taking any... I'm not taking any chances. No, I'm not taking any chances. 
Why would I take chances if I know he has a something up his sleeves? I got a bad, I got a very bad feeling about this. Okay, so what does he have face down? What are those two face downs are for? So I'm sorry, I'm just nervous. I don't even know what to expect from this guy. Another macrocosmos. And the only there's only three removed from play monsters. Just three. A hundred? That's not going to help you. Element absorber. Okay, what did he remove? Wind attribute. Thank God I've got light attributes. And that's game. Sorry, Amniel. You should have put more effort. The mummy is me. My body was ravaged by a curse, and I knew what had to be done. I used alchemy to create a new body, and I placed my soul inside of it. But it is only a matter of time before this body is a pile of dust in the wind. Professor Banner. Jaden, listen carefully to me, my boy. Everything I did was to test you, and to prepare you for the real evil to come. This is why I became a Shadow Rider. Not to take over the world, but to stop the one who was truly trying to. You had to become a better duelist so that you could face him and hopefully defeat him. The threat is so grave that I had to deceive you. I hope that you could forgive me. It's over. He's gone. So what now? From what Banner said, I guess we should be on the lookout for some terrible evil that wants to take over the world. Okay, but when aren't we really? You got a point there, Cyrus. No, this is different. Banner gave his life to prepare us for the evil that's coming. I just hope we're ready because whatever we're about to face is going to be unlike anything we've ever faced before. You're right. Jeez. The true leader of the Shadow Riders revealed himself as Kagemaru, the superintendent and founder of Duel Academy. He challenged Jaden to a duel, hoping to use his sacred beast cards to take over the world. I built this school. And now I've returned for my sacred beast cards. What? I am Kagemaru, master of the Shadow Games. It was I who first sealed the cards here. It was I who gave Shepherd the seven keys. But those keys are worthless. To unlock the spirit gates, all that's required is dueling energy. Energy to be expended trying to protect those keys. That is why I arranged for all the best tools in the world to come here. I hope year after year, class after class, that a student would arise with enough dueling spirit to unlock the power of the cards. My Shadow Riders were sent to test you and only one passed. One with the potential to finally unlock the sacred beast and give me the strength to rule the world. My opponent will be Jaden Yuki. Excuse me, what? You have proven to be the only duelist with the power to unlock the sacred beast card. And if you refuse, I will see to it that this island and everyone on it sinks to the depths of the ocean deep. You can't! I can do anything with these sacred beast cards. Let the shadow game begin. The end of se almost the end of season one because it just it leads to I believe a few more. Yeah, because there was a bit more. And now it's time we take him down and finish it. I'll need Clayman for this. I need to make sure I have all four different kinds. You need four elements. The Shadow Delver. Gemini Monsters. Two face downs. That's all you've got? Make that three. Crud. DNA surgery. 
turns every monster on the field into fiends. No, I know what he's trying to do. He needs three continuous traps. Yep, so he can summon Uriah. He has what he needs. No, he can just attack me directly with Shadow Delver. He doesn't even have Uriah. Very good. And he also needs to get three spell cards. They need to be continuous. Stratos. Excellent. That's two. Not much I could do. Three DNA surgeries. You really are determined, I'll give you that. Jeez. But don't you think that's a bit much? If I had a second Stratos, I would use it. He's got nothing. Miracle Fusion time! See if I'll be lucky enough to pull this off. Activate Thunder Giant's effect. Discard one card, destroy that. I have two. Now let's only pray it's enough to take him down. He must not summon Uriah! Ever! He only has 1,800 life points left. If he doesn't get anything on the field, I win by default. But if he pulls the top... Herculean power! Okay, can I ask you a quick question? What was the point of it? What was the point of playing all these if you didn't have any of the sacred beasts? Hang your head in shame! Impossible! The sacred beast could not be defeated! What the? Are you okay? It's true. I'm an old man, wanting simply what every old man wants, to be young again. And harnessing the power of those sacred beasts was the only way I found to do it. Yeah, and to take over the world. Can't you forgive a decrepit old soul? Yeah, I guess, but don't you see, old timer? Stealing power from something or someone isn't any way to feel alive again. You gotta find the strength in yourself. He is exactly right. But it's like these... They don't even try. Ugh, whatever. Either way, we're gonna finish this and end one season and start another in the next part. That is it. If you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. It helps out big time. Let's hope we're on the roll, hopefully. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.